Hey guys, it's Linda Hobson, your hashtag online BFF, back for video number 22 out of my 35 videos in 7 days challenge. And we are actually um, at, we are discussing a book, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Uh, we were discussing the traits of a successful personality and um, now I've been talking about the traits of the failure personality. We are on the last letter of failure, E, and E stands for emptiness. And Dr. Maltz talks about how, you know, um, you, We've been discussing the traits of a failure personality and as we were going through them, you may have thought of successful people that still have those failure um, traits, um, but they are successful as in um, they may have a lot of money or they may own a lot of things. But what's happening is is they're, they're not successful in all aspects of their life. They may have the money, but they're not going to be happy because... When you're in a failure personality or a fail, you know, you're on that failure curve, um, you're not living your full creative life or living to your full potential. And so although success may come monetarily or with um, tangible things, the things that make life worthwhile personally um, tend to be empty. So he, he talks about how, you know, the the money that they've they've worked so hard for basically turns to counterfeit right in their hands because although they have the money or the objects they're not truly happy or truly successful in their life and um, again emptiness can be addictive where it can be used as an excuse it can be you know um, just kind of an ad addictive kind of trait where it just kind of snowballs into, you know, maybe a, you know, a little feeling of emptiness snowballs into where it's consuming your life. And so I want to read a little bit again um, from him. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit more, though, um, about, you know, life is... Can, you can only, as a human being, because he states that we are um, goal-striving mechanism and a creative being, that finding goals that are worthwhile are really the true um, ways to be have a happy, healthy, successful life. And if you're feeling those traits of failure, one of the issues may be is either that you you know, don't have a goal at all, or your goal is, um, you know, not as important to you as you thought it was. So, you know, he just really um, talks about how important it is to have that worthwhile goal to strive for. That's what the human being is built for, is to strive for goals, no matter what it is in life. My goals may be different than yours because it's a personal thing. It's what's important to you. And um, so I want to read a little bit where um, he talks about emptiness is not a way that wins. The failure mechanism is self-perpetuating. Unless we step in and break the vicious cycle, emptiness, when once experienced, can become a way of avoiding effort, work, and responsibility. It becomes an excuse or a justification for non-creative living. If all is vanity, if there is no new thing under the sun, if there is no new joy to be found anyway, why bother? Why try? If life is just a treadmill, if we work eight hours a day so we can afford a house to sleep in, so we can sleep eight hours to become rested for another day's work, why get excited about it? All these intellectual reasons vanish. However, and we do experience joy and satisfaction when once we get off the treadmill, stop going around and round in circles, and select some goal worth striving for and go after it. 
And, you know, this is where I want to talk a little bit about um, the company that I'm in um, as a business. That's one of the reasons why I got into this business is, well, it first started out that um, I just wanted to earn a little a, a more money. The, the job that I had, as I mentioned before, I loved. I loved the customers I worked with. I love what I did. I was good at it. So it, you know, I, I felt good about myself. And um, I loved the, the company that I represented. And um, so I looked at this as a way to um, with this business, I can truly do it at home. It's, you know, 98% all online. And so um, I could do it from home and still be with my family as opposed to something like getting a second job or getting a business, getting into a business where you need to do presentations or go to meetings every week or something like that, um, where you have to go outside the home to to do your business to, you know, to, con to, uh, to conduct your business. And so that's one of the reasons why I chose this business is that I could build it from home. And again, I started it out as a way of making more money so that we could build the life that we dreamed of. Um, however, it's turned into something much bigger than that. It's given me those goals to strive for. It has changed me in ways that um, will still become apparent even to me more in the future. And, um, and it's because of that, that it's, it's you know, I, I try not to put down jobs because, again, there are people who love their jobs that are very good at what they do and they get paid what they want for doing that job. But there are so many other people that feel like they're on that treadmill, that all they're doing is walking that treadmill or spinning that wheel like a hamster to get the money, to pay for the house, to sleep eight hours, to get up and do a job again, to do it all over again. And is it really worthwhile? You know, after a while of doing that, you tend to feel that emptiness. Um, you know, and because of feeling like you're on a treadmill. And so if you are feeling that way and you want to find out more about what I do in particular, please click on the link below. I would love to give you more information and lock arms with you and work with you to build that dream life, to get off that treadmill and get a goal that is worth striving for. And isn't your happiness and your family's happiness and living your dream life a goal that is worth striving for and doing what it takes to get there. So click on the link below if you want to find out more information about what I do. And um, and basically, you know, that's that's what his whole point is, is if, it, if it's not working with me or, you know, being in the business I'm in, maybe it's, it's not for everybody. So maybe it's not for you. But Find something that is. Find something that is for you that makes you set goals that are a stretch for you so that you um, get that happiness by working toward a worthwhile goal. And I will see you in the next video.